are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're the Thames men. How are you doing, George? I don't know. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you writing a Bob I'm doing all the sound effects. I'm doing all the sound effects. Well, I'm going to make it in my edit job a nightmare. Well, they're the graphics. You know, when really flash TV programs coming up. Oh, my. <laughs> it, it would be more effective if you weren't blurry, but that's okay. We're oh, good. Also so, pale. I'm so yeah. pale. You're very pale. I got some. Very English. It must. It must be air conditioning. I would suggest. It's ah, uh, those who don't know. Life out of you. While I'm in the in the in the big outdoors. For those who don't know, well, first of all, my name's Alex. This is George. I'm, I'm George. Yeah, yeah I just uh-huh. said that. The Thamesman, and we're in the middle of a heat wave. I live in San Francisco and he lives in LA, and I've got air conditioning and he doesn't. By the time I edit this, this will probably be winter, and they'll be, they'll be like, What heat wave? What's he talking about? So, uh, anyway. it doesn't matter. I don't, I, it's, um, oh, it's a little bit cold here. I might have to just open the window a bit. Uh, are, are you like feeling a bit like, you know, yeah, nibbly? <laughs> Can I can I hang my uh, can yeah, I no. hang my uh... no no I was going to I was going to hang no no, <laughs> no. don't go there right all right what you got for me why have you okay me all here? right so so I okay this this track so a couple of things in our comments uh, like and subscribe and join the comments please they're awesome uh, someone asked the question they said how are you guys on Canadian bands. And I was like, well, you know, we've been we've been exploring Rush. They're Canadian, obviously. Uh, I've seen the movie Anvil uh, and loved that. It was an awesome film, really fun and really lovely. Um, and then um, then I, then they recommended a band called Triumph, which we haven't got to yet. But then I just suddenly realised that when we started this whole Thamesman thing, I pulled up a track which I really like. And so this is this is like me just playing something I really like. You're probably going to be oh, rude about it afterwards, and you'll probably say something like, oh, "That's no. worth giving," or you know, or, uh, no, "Oh no, oh no." Has anyone asked? No one's asked for this. Asked for this. It's, this oh, is God. me. This is a Canadian band. This is me showing oh, by chance God. I happen to know another Canadian band. For those who don't know, my colleague here actually has dreadful taste in music. <laughs> so that's very you do. rude. <laughs> so, I just, so, I'm just slightly so unlucky. I'm unlucky about picking versions. <laughs> Not the version. <laughs> I do think Judy Collins did a good version. Oh, we haven't done Judy Collins yet, have you we? You wanted to. Okay, wanted I, picked, to. I picked the worst Gary Moore track ever. I accept that. But there are good Gary Moore tracks, aren't there? We have said he's done some amazing stuff. So it's not that I have bad taste, Gary Moore is good. It's that I picked a terrible version. Remember when we didn't have subscribers and we, you know, they weren't subscribing and they weren't telling us what to watch. Mm-hmm. And we had free range. Do you remember those days? I do, yes. Do you remember Mason, do you remember Mason Jennings? Who still has 19 views. But anyone out there, if you could watch Mason Jennings and just like and subscribe to that one, please, just because it annoys Alex intensely and it makes me happy. Don't encourage him. It's a sure. great song, Mason. You said, I, I'm going to play back a clip of you going, how sure, good Mason I'm- Jennings was. I I'll, didn't I'll, know any. I'll drop it in here. I'm going to drop it in right here. How good you said Mason Jennings was. Oh, I want more. I want more. Bring it more. Oh, don't stop there, Mason. Yeah. Two two minutes twenty of perfection. That's that's really nice. Really, I I mean I couldn't work. I didn't know any better. It was one of our first videos. I thought I'd support you as a friend, but I didn't know you were going to drag me on the path of despair. <laughs> it's, it's, like, stu- it's the stump of despair, was it? Now it's, I, now it's the world-trodden path, muddy path of despair, and you're going to... Uh, what, what have you dragged up from your barrel of sludge? Uh, you, may, you may like this. It's a band from... I think they're from oh. Regina in... in, in Canada, uh, and the band is called Fox Warren. And um, no one asked for this. Um, honestly, no, no one asked no. for this. And, and, um, and I haven't asked for it. No. And I don't know. So, so let's do this, George. This is all you. You've made this all by yourself, and you're going to drag us, me, 
Oh, this- and all our subscribers through this. You're going to be eating crow after this, mate. This is a cracking track. It's lovely. All right. It, it, it's cruising down Highway 1, Big Sur, roof down music, okay? All right. You said if I listened to Mason Jennings, <laughs> I would be more beautiful. And that was a lie. <laughs> I think you're looking wonderful, mate. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. Come on. Don't delay this any longer. The moment of truth where I pick a good one on my own without any help. You ready? Christ, we've got millions of people asking. We've got thousands of people asking for tracks, and then you go and pick something out yourself, and we, we will we will judge you. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. 19 views. Here we come. Three, two, one, go.
What do you think? What do you think? It wasn't terrible, was it? That is a really, really good track. That's lovely, isn't it? It's like it's not. It's not like it's just gentle and lovely, and I don't know. It's just You're a simple soul to it. You're a simple soul, aren't you? I'm a simple soul. There's simple things I like, and I like that. It, it was good. It was um, it was like ELO meets magnetic fields. It's like I love the I love the harmony. I love the vocal being so upfront and it's very melodic. And underneath you had all the indie kind of you know and you know it felt like a really kind of early Canadian drum and bass. You wanted it to go into drum and bass, but well, it was really nice. It was a good track. I was like, you see oh, now now the weird thing is because when I wanted to find this, um, we listened to the studio version of it. They have a video which goes with it, and the video for me actually ruins it. It's like this weird little storyline with these people who've got a bomb and they're going to blow something up. And and then at the last minute, someone, one of the bad guys relents and saves the bomb from blowing up a what, mother and a kid and blows up himself sort of thing. And it's like, uh, it, it doesn't it, match it, the feel of it. Yeah, but easy. It could be their, could be, could be their mate who did the, uh, the video as a favour. And now you just <laughs> slammed them up. You know? I mean, you know, it, it didn't... I thought the video took away from the song, not added to the song. And so therefore that's why I went for the studio version. Where, where do you know this band from? Um, honestly, I I think I heard it. Um, there is, um, I think I've said it to you, there's a, there's a DJ here in LA. Uh, anyone, uh, it's um, Nick Harcourt, who is actually originally from, I think he's from Birmingham or England, uh, but he's been out in the USA for a long time. Uh, and he started a radio program on KCRW, which is a really influential music program called uh, Morning Becomes Eclectic. And he's now moved to this other station over in the valley, uh, which is oh, what's it, 88.5 uh, SoCal. And you can stream it. it. And he does this amazing breakfast show from like 6 a.m. till 11 a.m. So anywhere in the world, you can get 89.5 SoCal. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in the bottom, but it's uh, and he's a great DJ and he plays you know, normal stuff. And then he'll drop in really interesting tracks and you go oh yeah and you and you like you shazam them and you and i sort of like collect songs that he occasionally drops in and um yeah so nick harcourt freaking great dj yeah. really really good ear for music and 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 you'll so he does a breakfast show but yeah stream it 89.88.5 socal or something like it's called brilliant and uh you know i reckon if that song came on at the right time exactly as you said if if i was in my kitchen it was sunday morning it was early I just got my coffee, the sun was streaming in, and that track came on, it would be, oh, well, that just fitted perfectly. You know? Yeah, exactly. It's, it has a moment, it has its place, you know, and it's just lovely, you know, and... Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, I yeah. think we, we all agree. Yes. We're not going to hold you, we're not going to nail you to the cross of, of bad mm. choice on that one. <laughs> you know? There is a cross of bad choice, and you are heading towards it. Is that, is that is, is the cross of bad choice next to the stump of despair? Yes. The stomach <laughs> is at the bottom of the, of the cross of bad choice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. And well, let's also, stay, let's you, stay away from that area, shall we? No, and also you can also get a black belt of bad choices as well. And be a ninja <laughs> is, it, is it on top of the hill of of bad, bad failed dreams? It is, it is, and in the valley, in the valley of uh, lost youth. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, the the town of Eternal Optimist is just next door, and they have a really bad time of it. Really, I I, I wedged myself into the valley of of uh, lost youth, and it was it was not nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, and with that, now, now we're lost in the valley of despair and lost youth. Let's move on, shall I'm we? I'm glad you avoided the cross of bad choice. I and did. shall we shall we score it? Well, why not, sir? You choose right. first. What do you think it is? Wanger, wanger or banger? Yeah, it's you know, it's a it's a chipolata. It's chipolata. a chipolata. Okay, you know, everyone li everyone likes the chipolata, uh, but you're I, not you're, you know you're not going to get stuffed on it. I think it's I think it's a Dodger dog, the king of hot dogs, from an LA perspective. You know. So. Yeah, but you know what, sir? You know what? That, well, actually, yeah. Not meaning that you don't know what's in a hot dog. Well, you know, you know, it's lips and assholes, don't you? <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Things start blinking at you. Yeah, <laughs> They're quite horrid. I don't eat that crap anymore. Ever, ever since someone said it's got eyeballs in it, like, <laughs> I won't eat it. You know? oh, I don't know. Still tastes good, but right, all right. <laughs>
<laughs> this is kind of very off the rails kind of video. This one, I, I'm sorry, what happened? I think I think we need to get out more. No, your breath from here with all the hot dogs you've got. Uh, like, another day's topic is uh, in, in LA. The uh, the far who is it? Like the, the original maker of the Dodger dog has been kicked out of Dodger Stadium, and they've got a new manufacturer. Are they as good? Discuss. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my man, right. be well. I'll leave you on that hot potato. Hot potato. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. Cheerio.